What up y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle and we're just gonna hop right into these ideas that I have for some fun workouts, especially cause these earrings are heavy, honey. So we, we're just gonna get right into it, okay? Number one recommendation that I have to get in a good fun time is to check out whatever classes may be offered locally, whether it be at a rec center or just at any sort of gym around town. So for example, at my local rec center, um, I always take Zumba classes. Well, I used to take them once a week, but ever since Miss Rona came to town, that's kind of altered the way that I do things. But outside of those Zumba classes, I know that they also offer this thing called cardio drumming. I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to try it once Rona is over. I think basically you get this like big air ball, like the ones that pregnant women sometimes bounce around on and you literally get like drumsticks and you drum, yeah. And like you could also like mess around and take like a, a pole dancing class like that's something I've always wanted to try not because I'm interested in getting into the business or whatever but because I feel like it would just be a fun thing to do so you could do that with your girls I know a lot of places have like um, the what is it called like the silk classes like pink you know pink and how she'd be performing and like flying in the air on them silks I know that a lot of places offer those sort of classes um, I know my aunties one time they took line dancing classes so that's something that they would do every week even one time I was gonna take a trapeze class once I lived in Chicagoland unfortunately I didn't get around to it but so many different things. Definitely um, go online, check out whatever rec center is in your town or just local gyms and see what they offer because there's tons of fun classes out there for you to enjoy. So I got this idea from my sister because she actually just bought some rollerblades and she doesn't know how to rollerblade, like she's not very good at it, but she's practicing, which is all that matters. But it really is a great way to burn some calories and just be active in general. So I'm thinking, you know, you could either go to a roller skating rink if you want to. I feel like pretty much roller skating at any rink is fairly cheap these days, so you could do that. But I know um, some places actually have like skate parks. So there's a park near my house that like literally if you take your skateboard, roller blades, roller skates, whatever you wanna do, like they have ramps and all that stuff. So if you're like into that sort of thing, you could go there. But you could also just like roller skate or roller blade through your neighborhood. It doesn't have to be that serious of a thing. Like you could just put on some skates, roll around, go out with some friends, do it by yourself. It doesn't really matter. So of course you could do jump rope by yourself, you know, just get the single rope and kind of but you could also do something like double dutch. I'm thinking of the movie Jump In on Disney Channel. Like comment below if you know what movie I'm talking about with Corbin Blue and Kiki Palmer. Sis, that was my movie back in the day. Like jump to the rhythm, sway to the music. Yeah, all that. Anyways, you know, if you have a couple of friends or some people in your family that want to do it with you, it's super easy. I feel like that's something that you could learn how to do on YouTube, honestly. Like you could probably learn how to do a bunch of double dutch tricks if you get really good at it. And like I said, it is a great form of workout. I don't know about y'all, but anytime I pick up a jump rope, after like a few minutes, I'm like huffing and puffing. So definitely a great way to stay active, okay? Now hear me out, okay? Because I know there's a lot of you out there that are gonna be looking at me sideways like, hiking, sis, come on. <laughs> and I know what you mean, because I have a friend who's exactly like that. Every single time I recommend we go hiking, but, I feel like it could definitely be a good challenge. And again, it's not one of those things that is for everybody. Hopefully once you watch this video, you'll find at least one thing that's like, oh yeah, that sounds fun, I'll try that. But if hiking doesn't sound fun to you, no worries, it doesn't have to be your thing. However, for me, I kind of like the idea that you put in this hard work in like climbing a mountain and then you get to the end and there's this huge reward in the form of this beautiful view that you would have never seen had you not put in the work. Also, I will say that just because you're hiking, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily like hiking a mountain. Like um, maybe a month or two ago, my sister and I went on a hike and it was literally just like flat, like really was not much elevation whatsoever. And it was like a, a loop. So in total, it was probably about three miles. So if you are someone that like, maybe you wanna give hiking a try, but you're like, I don't know if I'm ready to conquer a mountain just yet, that's okay. Definitely make sure you do your research. Find what trails that they recommend for beginners and that are easier and then if you find that you like that you can definitely work your way up to the more moderate and difficult trails 
I will go on record saying that this is something that I personally have tried and did not personally enjoy. However, I know that there are people out there who think that this is really fun. So let me tell you a little bit about my personal journey and story and then you can go ahead and decide for yourself. The first time that I tried kickboxing, well, the first and only time, was last year, so 2019. And my friend recommended that we do it. She signed us up for a class at a local like kickboxing gym and basically they were offering like a free half hour workout and that way from there you could decide if you enjoyed it and wanted to sign up and do it on a more regular basis. And so I was like, okay, let me, let me try this out. And so basically the way that it worked is once we got there, we signed in, signed up, did whatever we had to do, and then there was a trainer there. And the trainer led us through like different circuits that we had to do. So for one circuit, we just had to do, what is it called? Like sit-ups or crunches. And then for another circuit, we were like punching the, what do you call that? The punching bag? <laughs> is that what it's called? You know, the thing, the heavy thing. And then for another circuit, there was the little, punch bag up here and we like we we're going like that which is really hard to do by the way they make it look really easy in the movies and then yeah I don't remember what we did for all the circuits but that was just some of what we did and I don't know why I didn't like it to be completely honest I feel like I was just exerting a lot of energy and I just wasn't used to it at the time like at the time I wasn't really working out regularly so I feel like maybe it was like a shock to my body and I was like I don't want to do this even though that wasn't my personal preference I would say that if you're interested if that sounds like something you would want to try definitely go for it because who knows you may have a way better time than I did so give it a try if you want Ooh, this next thing I recommend that I'm really excited about and I want to try out myself is doing a themed run or an obstacle course. And what I mean by that is something like, um, I think they call it like a color run where you put on like a white t-shirt and somehow you get paint on you. I don't really know how that works actually. How do you get paint on you in those runs? Do you like throw it at each other? Like someone let me know how that happens please but that's one option um i know one time i was gonna do this obstacle course it's called muddy princess and they were offering it in the phoenix area so i was gonna go with my co-workers and some of her friends and i was probably gonna bring my sister unfortunately because of rona they canceled it so we couldn't go but they're definitely bringing it back next year so i will be doing that for sure and mind you i'm that type of person like i hate running like i literally just I don't run. I refuse to run. But the fact that this type of run is more like fun and like you could do it with your friends and you don't have to run, like you could do anything from a walk to a jog to a run and it's at your own pace, that's what I really enjoy about it. Bike riding is yet again another great fun thing that you can do to stay more active and to work out. And that can just be like traditional bike riding, like just going on a ride through your neighborhood with the helmet, of course, okay, don't play. But you can also go on like different biking trails. Like I know um, if you live in kind of like a a city or a metropolitan area, a lot of them have those blue bikes, which I can't remember the freaking name of them right now but you know those those blue bikes oh the divvy bikes divvy bikes i guess other cities might have other colored bikes so like red yellow purple whatever colored bikes that you are able to rent usually it is not that expensive to rent it for you know a couple hours or even a day so you could take that out around the city or on a trail with some friends um another thing that you could do if you live in an area that is mountainous geographically um like i do I found that they offer mountain biking classes, which is really cool. I don't know that I'll ever try it because I value my life, you know? But if you're someone that's a little more adventurous than me and that sounds like something that's really like fun to you, then it's something that you could definitely learn how to do and again, take a class for. In my neighborhood, we have a lot of public like basketball courts, volleyball courts, stuff like that. And so you could very easily get together a group of friends or some family members, whoever you want to play with and just play against one another. I definitely think it's always fun to be in competition with your loved ones and people you care about and to just crush them. So I would have a great time doing that. You could always up the ranks by kind of doing some sort of bet 
and saying, you know, whatever team loses, like you have to wash our cars or something like that, just to make it more like fun. Besides basketball and volleyball, I know families have done like kickball games before, or like softball, or you could do football. Literally whatever you wanna do, just grab some friends, grab some family, and just get out there and be active and have fun and be competitive. And the best part is you won't even be worried about, oh, like I have to exert all this energy and work out because you'll be having so much fun, bonding, and spending time with the people that you love, hopefully. All right, party people, so those are all the ideas that I have for now, but comment below and let me know which one sounds the most fun to you and which activity you would like to give a try. Or let me know if there was an activity that I didn't list that you think is super dope and super fun and that people might love to try. But that's it for now. Thank you for joining me and for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, definitely consider subscribing. Other than that, I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.